Today's adventure is how to export your audio from Logic. And maybe I shouldn't even use the word export anymore because that's not really the term that we use. So if you go up and look at export in the file menu, you're not really going to get to where um, I'm going to go. Now, this is not what you would want to do if you're going to want to share this project or if you go and record it in one of the booths and then you want to take it back to your computer. That's a different issue. We'll get to that later. What we're talking about now is how are you going to maybe share this project, uh, upload it to SoundCloud, put it on your phone, um, email it to yourself so you can listen to it over the weekend, share it with people, etc., etc. So there's a few things that you do want to check before you start. Number one, and by the way, I'm going to leave these tool tips on for just a little bit longer. You might um, you might check those out. You know, every once in a while, pause and say, "Oh, look at that." Okay. Um, there's a few things you want to check before you get too far into this, and that's number one. You want to make sure you don't have anything selected in the arrange window here. Um, another thing you want to select, or you want to check, is to make sure that the end point of your project is not in the middle of your project. Make sure it's at the end of your project. You do want to give it a little bit of room after the project is over, especially if you're just kind of exporting it uh, casually. Um, but the first thing you want to do is make sure nothing is selected. You can do that by clicking off in the middle of the workspace. You know, so if something's selected, I click down here. That's deselected. Um, I could, if something was selected, I could, I could hit. Well, Command A selects everything. So if I add Shift to that, Command Shift A. Oops, that actually brings up the uh, the things. Oh, okay. Logic doesn't work the right way. Oh, we'll come back to that some other time. Uh, make sure everything's deselected. Make sure that endpoint is in the right spot. And then you're going to go to the file menu, and you're going to find the option that says bounce project or selection. So again, bounce is the term that we're going to use. Command B is the shortcut. Um, bounce project or selection. Now this is where you get some options. We're going to dig into these a little bit later, but this is full quality file here. This is your full quality, either your WAV or your AIF, 24-bit, um, uh, that's CD quality, that's as big as we can go really. Um, let's uncheck that and let's go ahead and go MP3. Uh, you want to double check the start time, that's beginning, 1, measure 1, and this is measure 189, that's at the end. So I'm double checking that that's there. Um, I want to do this offline. There was a time when we first had Pro Tools where we had to actually export everything in real time. Um, sometimes that's uh, that's a good way to do it. That way you can check, make sure there's no mistakes, and so forth. Um, we can go over here and we can max this up. Okay, why not? It's not going to be too huge of a file, but if you want to save some space, you can back it down a little bit. Um, just you know, know that you're going to be sacrificing some quality. Um, I would go ahead and leave all these things unchecked. And for right now, we can go ahead and leave this normalize on. Um, later, I'll tell you what that means. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Essentially, what that's going to do is it's going to bring the volume level up to as loud as it can be. Um, if I know the way your projects go, though, it's probably already pretty loud. In fact, probably too loud. So we're going to have to go back and fix that some other time. So you can also see as you adjust this, um, generally speaking, there's going to be some sort of updates there. I'm thinking that's uh, for the full quality file down there though. So anyway, that's all there is to it. Um, the last thing here is where it saves this is going to be buried in a directory that is super difficult to find. Not really, but kind of. Um, it's in the bounces folder of your project. Um, so I'm going to expand that uh, desktop. You see how it's, um, it's in your user folder, music, logic, bounces. Uh, that's not super useful. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, the desktop, um, which you know you can get to uh, over here in the the left hand column, or you know you can put it somewhere else. You don't want to dump a bunch of files on your desktop, but if you're just gonna email it, that's not a bad place to put it. So that's how you bounce. And uh, this is a long project, so I will uh, catch you later.